Where are you folks from? Canada. Canada? You don't look Canadian. Where are you guys really from? I was born in Toronto. Really? Your favorite sport is hockey, right? <laughs> I like ballet. I love golpu. Me and my friends, we play in a golpu club. You come to Canada, we teach you. Oh, thank you. You want a snack? You guys eating a poutine? No, kimbap. You want to try? Oh, no, thank you. You don't know anything about what it really means to be Canadian. What? You need to watch more CBC. And watch shows like Kim's Convenience and Run the Burbs. Sorry, but I just overheard that you're from Canada. Me too! You guys do say sorry a lot though. Sorry? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to say sorry, but uh, what? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I swear I didn't mean to say sorry to my sorry. What? <laughs> That's weird. Sorry? Nope. Forgot about my belt. <laughs> Forgot about my watch. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You want me to take this all off? What? Oh. Coins. Oh, coins. What else is it? Oh, screws. Oh, of course the screws are going to do this. Oh, I was looking for this. What? What is this? Oh my, can you please hurry up? I'm gonna be late for my flight. All right, I got nothing else. That's strange. I don't have anything else, I swear. Are you serious? The, let me try this. Wait, I have a pacemaker? Did I tell you that? Can someone turn it off? Happy Chinese New Year. I have a red envelope for each one of you. Well, why are you being so nice and generous all of a sudden? Well, giving you guys red envelopes actually brings me good fortune as well, so I'm actually just doing this for me. Only you can turn generosity into selfishness, but whatever. Yoink! Aw, thanks, Lindsay. A penny. The amount of money in there reflects how important you are in my life, so... <laughs> But it's an old bill, not a crisp new one, so it's only gonna bring you old luck. <laughs> Fine by me. Four hundred forty more dollars, which in Chinese means ultimate death. <laughs> Who cares what it means? I'll take the cash. Thank you so much. Watch out for that suitcase. <laughs> Genie. Why though? Bitch, I don't fucking know. Oh, I bet he's gonna say the heartbreak led you to die or something. Bitch, yeah. Bitch, no. He can't be involved in my death. Bitch, he brought his new girl here too and she's blonde. No fucking way. He always said he wasn't in the blondes. Do that. Bitch, he's coming with his new girl. Shit. Hey, stay over there and watch this. Okay, okay. Uh, loving you, bestie. See you now. Here she is. Wasn't she beautiful? It was your fault. Have you ever wanted to change seats on a plane so you can sit next to your friend or partner? Usually we're assigned seats before boarding, so seat changes are done on the plane. So here are seat change success rates, couples edition. So let's say you're a couple that's sitting separately and you want to change seats with a solo traveler on a flight that's over four hours. If you're doing a same seat to seat exchange in the same area, the success rate is about 99.9%. I've never had anyone say no. If it's the same seat, but you ask them to move zones so they were at the front and now you're asking them to move to the back, about 80%. Now, if you add close to a toilet or close to a crying baby, that goes down to like 40%. Now, if you're doing a different seat exchange, like you ask them to give up their window or aisle for a middle seat, 15%, maybe 10, like no one wants the middle. But if you give up your window or aisle for their middle seat, your rate goes back up to 99%. And to those that try to change seats with different classes, <laughs> please don't even try to ask someone who's sitting in economy plus or business to take your economy seat. Passengers pay a lot of money to upgrade. So unless you plan on paying them back, your success rate will be negative 682%. Okay. There is a medical emergency. Please, is there a doctor on board? That could have been you. 
What? You could have been doctor, but no, you chose to be YouTuber. Oma, there's literally someone dying right now. Good, then you go take a video, pour some views. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm watching TV. I'm looking at you. Fuck you. I'm dead again. I'm up. I can run faster than the bitch around the house. Your daughter is so cute. How old is she? 120 months. 120 months? 120 divided by 12. So 10. Yeah, 10. Okay. Then why did you- Why are there always dirty dishes? And why am I the only one always doing the dishes? Hey! You haven't been doing the dishes for like eight months straight? And I will continue to do it for the rest of my life. Happy Chinese New Year's, everyone. So for this year, I decided to only give red pockets to those that are not married. Why not married? I'm transferring my luck so you can find forever love this year. I think it's the married ones that need the luck. Anyways, like, who cares? You should, because there's money in those red pockets. What? Well, I'm single, so give me that. I'm single. Didn't you just get married to Veronica last month? Yeah, but... We're currently flying to a country that doesn't recognize same-sex marriages, so technically, I'm still single. So I'll take that. <laughs> so I know I've been married for 40 years, but recently I found out that my husband was cheating on me. And quite frankly, I don't want to be a divorcee, you know, and die alone. So we're testing out this like open relationship thing for now. So technically, I'm single, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> to give you guys real money on this flight attendant salary besides it's not what it's inside that counts it's the outside red envelope that's going to bring you guys luck this year guys hi just this so your total is two dollars and 98 cents would you like to donate your two cents change to help starving blind children in africa who are running for their lives and all they want is a place to sleep at night no thank you okay would you like a bag for 20 cents yes i would <laughs> Thank you. I'll catch up with you in a bit. I just need to grab 10 face masks. I'll be right back. Okay, see ya. Hi, I just need 10 face masks? Of course, I'll grab those for you. And actually right now, if you buy 10 face masks, we're giving away 10 for free. So perfect timing. Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you. These 20 face masks will come to $36, but I do want to let you know that right now you can get 100 face masks for 60 bucks. Well, I mean, if you do the unit conversion, that's so much cheaper. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take the 100 masks. Great. And now that you're spending $60, you can choose between any one of our best-selling moisturizers for free as a gift. That's great. I'll take that one. And if you spend another like $20, I can actually gift you these premium gift packs that are only available in this store. So just 20 bucks and I get that premium pack? <laughs> yeah, I want it. These are good for wrinkles, right? Add that. Yes, that's a great product. So your total comes to $85. Oh, you're so close to 100 If you spend $100, get 15% off your entire purchase. Oh, that's like giving up free money. I am not stupid enough to miss out on that. So add these. I put in some extra samples in here for you as a service. Oh my God, you are seriously the best. Thank you so much. So you got what you needed? Yeah, I got a hundred face masks, five moisturizers, serums, sunscreens, cleansers, and a limited edition gift bag, and a ton of free samples. I thought you only needed ten face masks. Oh. Oh my god. 
It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so flattered you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like, it's really firm. Squeeze it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. That's a really cute pin. Thank you. Pen. 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 I've got two tickets for the concert in LA. You wanna come? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Oh, you need to put on your seatbelt, please. Things you didn't know about cabin crew the forbidden cockpit. Let's go to all the influencers that keep requesting to take photos in the cockpit while we're in mid flight. It's not gonna happen, so please stop asking. We are crew, and you know how hard it is for us to even get in? When cabin crew want to access the cockpit, there are strict procedures that we need to follow. Why? I'm just going to say it. It's to prevent psychos from hijacking the plane. You can only open the doors from inside the cockpit. Airlines will have their own strict procedures. I was trained to first clear the area, make sure that no passengers are around. If there is a lavatory close to the cockpit, we will first make sure it's vacant and then keep it locked open. Another crew member will remain on guard for you to ensure that no one else enters your space. And then we knock on the cockpit door, smile for the cameras, and maybe they'll let you in. Same thing for when we leave the cockpit. We have to make sure everything is clear. So we check the people, check the camera, check with the crew. Everything is good. We leave. Hey, can I take a photo in the cockpit? No! Good afternoon, sir. We're starting our meal service now. Would you care for something to no. drink? Get me another server. Is there a problem, sir? I refuse to be served by an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm actually in charge of this section, so it will be me serving you, sir. You can stop talking to me now because I don't understand Asian, so just get me your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, you requested to speak to me. The server can't even speak English and I need someone that can understand me. So can you just send me someone else? Sir, all of our crew speak English and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but uh, you're, you're Asian. What does that matter? Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. <coughs> Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right, all right, okay. <coughs> Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours, and if you don't... Oh, 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 okay, okay. <coughs> Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit... Uh, oh, okay, you know what? I give up, I give up. <coughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him leap yet. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen them. Sir? Whoop. Things you didn't know about cabin crew. Secrets of the aircraft lavatory door. Let's go! Did you know as crew, we have the power to control the lavatory door? That's right. For instance, in this lavatory, you see that sign right there? This actually opens up. There's a flap. And then there's a sliding mechanism underneath that will help you lock and unlock 
the lavatories at any time. So why would we even want to open up a toilet door? Number one, people get stuck in it, mostly kids, but adults too. Number two, for emergencies. If someone is passed out in there, we gotta get you out. And for those people that decide to use these facilities for other activities such as, uh, you know, you know, yeah. <whistles> Just wanna let you know that we probably would not open the doors, but do you know what you're doing? Steven, can you please give the lady in 15 see her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelet. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady! Mother! 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 Ma'am, that's an omelette. Stephen, you're not supposed to yell at the passengers! It's not my fault she's not making any sense! She's talking about the egg's mother. She wants chicken. Mother Welcome aboard. Oh my, you are so beautiful for an Asian. Wow, look, perfect face, perfect figure, beautiful legs. You know what? Here, for you. Th thank you. What's this? <laughs> it's my son's phone number. He's a doctor. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, hello there. I guess we're seat buddies. Lucky for you because I make the best seat buddy because I have snacks. You want one? No, thank you. <clears throat> Sweetie, are you cold? Let me warm you up. Please don't touch me. <clears throat> you had a baby? No, I took the baby from the sleeping mom over there. <laughs> what? I know, poor thing. The mom was knocked out. She must be very tired. I know how hard it is to be a mom, so I just wanted to help out. Give the lady in 15 see her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelet. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady. Mother! 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 Ma'am, that's an omelet. You're not supposed to yell at the passengers! It's not my fault she's not making any sense! Mother! The bring me mother! Mother! She's talking about the egg's mother? She wants chicken! Mother! Oh my, you took out that water from before, right? Aw. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh! What is this? Oh, that's my pill. Oh, happy pill. Make me feel very, very nice. Oh, ooh. Really? Well, they're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh, my, you can't say that word here. Well, I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm going to get this checked. Great, now we're going to be late. Could I beat them in the way? Ah! Oh, man, why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's a, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh, man, please stop. Excuse me, what's the holdup? I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. Yeah, hurry up! I'm 
sorry, sir. We're just waiting for one more VIP passenger and we should be on our way shortly. Well, it doesn't matter to you. You're getting paid anyways. Actually, no. You're not getting paid right now? We don't get paid until the doors close and we push back. That's crazy! Aren't you pissed off? This is my pissed off face, sir. Hey, dudes. What's up? Sorry, I'm late. Hurry up and sit down! <laughs> Yo, we have an A-list celebrity sitting in the last row of economy, and the passengers are going crazy! No way! They didn't tell us in briefing, though. Who is it? Good morning, ma'am. It's such an honor to have you on board today. Are you traveling by yourself? Uh, yes, I am. Just checking to see if you're okay. Um, if you would like more privacy, I can check if there's space in business class for you. Thank you so much for your kind offer, but I really want to sit here if I'm not causing too much trouble. I'm actually traveling on a mission trip and they sent me this ticket and I really, really want to honor their gift. And sitting in business class and receiving special treatment just doesn't sit right with me on this trip. I hope you understand. I understand and respect your decision. I'm a huge fan. Yo, those celebrities are taking half of the economy. Oh, it's because they're on their missionary trip, so they need the celebrities and their crew. Oh, that makes sense. Hello, sir. Can I help you with anything? Oh, hey know who I am, right? Yes, yes I do. Okay, cool. So as you know, I'm going on a mission trip, so I need to be well rested and economy is so uncomfortable and people are just bothering me with autographs. So I'm just gonna chill here if that's okay with you. Certainly, sir. I'm just gonna go check to see how much it'll be to upgrade you to business, okay? Uh. True tales from the skies, let's go. <clears throat> Ma'am? What are you doing? I'm trying to open the window so I can throw out my baby's diaper. Ma'am, we're on a plane. I know. What's your point? And even if we weren't on a plane, that's still messed up. So please, just give me the diaper. 